This one-of-a-kind hydraulic test bench was custom engineered for SNS. It incorporates manual and automatic testing and uses quadruple filtration that removes particles as small as 10 microns. A series of valve controls and regulators precisely measure all pump functions. The 100 horsepower motor can drive pumps up to 1,750 RPMs in a matter of seconds. Interchangeable mounting plates and a variety of supply hoses allow it to adapt to any style pump. The technician attaches a nylon sling to the pump. The sling is attached to an air-operated load balancer. The balancer lifts the heavy pumps and prevents injury to the technician or damage to the test bench. The pump shaft is inserted into the drive coupling. The technician then installs nuts onto the mounting studs and tightens them. This will hold the pump in place during the test. Since we are testing a three-line pump, we will be using the included sleeve. With a two-line pump, the sleeve is not necessary. He attaches the hydraulic hoses and tightens them. Then the oil valve is opened to allow oil flow through the pump. The pump technician enters the model number of the pump. A serial number is generated automatically by the computer. The serial number is critical to tie in the test pump with the actual printed report. The first part of the test is the relief pressure test. The relief pressure is the pressure that the relief valve is cracking at. He first turns the flow control knob to divert oil to the relief valve. The gauge reads the pressure that the valve opens at. Data is recorded in the computer. Any pump that doesn't have at least a 90% volumetric efficiency will be rejected. He continues to divert the oil flow until he has full flow over the relief valve. After this is completed, the technician is prompted to shut off the machine. A report is printed out automatically. This report includes the model number and the serial number of the tested pump. All critical features monitored during the test are recorded and shown on the final test report. The technician will now remove the hoses and nuts so the pump can be removed from the test bench. Here, the excess oil is drained from the pump. All port plugs are installed and tightened. Now he attaches the nylon sling so he can remove the pump using the load balancer. The pump is now ready for packaging. The technician attaches the serialized metal tag on the accepted pump. The serial number on the tag matches the number on the test report. Then the pump is placed inside a heavy weight plastic bag to prevent contamination.
The white foam inserts inside the box protect the pump from damage during shipping. The packager also includes a port sleeve into the box. He verifies that the correct report is included with the pump and places it inside. A part number label is affixed to the outside of the box. Remember, when you see the New Star logo on a hydraulic pump, you can rest assured the pump will perform as expected the first time and every time.